Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm here with DP900 Microsoft Azure Data Fundamental Questions and Answer. This is me Narendra. Before I start, a big thank you to all my subscribers and this video is specially made for one of my new subscribers request. If you also want to make a video on any topic related to Microsoft certifications, kindly feel free to uh, comment below. I'll try to bring you out for you guys. And I would like to recommend you to go through the Microsoft study materials before you, you know, read out these dumps, understand the concept and come to this video later. You will clear your certification with a good marks. Uh, well, having said that, I'll share the link below in the description box uh, for the Microsoft security, sorry, Microsoft study materials. And I wish you all the very best for your uh, DP900 certifications. Uh, so these uh, these are the you know uh, weightage uh, which you will find in the uh, exams. So described core data concepts will have 25 to 30 percent of weight, and you will get a lot of questions from this topic. And another is identify consideration for uh, relational data on Azure will have 20 to 25 percent of weight uh, in your exams. Describe consideration work for working with non-relational data on Azure will have 15 to 20 percent of weight in your exam. So another describe and analytics workload on Azure will have 25 to 30 percent of weight in your exam. So uh, always prepare your exams accordingly. OK, before we hop into uh, questions and answers, I would like to re reiterate as I do on all my videos, kindly pause, read and understand the questions properly. So it will be easy for you. So let's start question number one to complete the sentence. Select the appropriate options in the answer area. So the answer points we have are like uh, so let's uh, read out the questions first. Sorry and extra transform and load ETL process requires a target data store powerful enough to transform data. So understand this properly. Let's go into the next question. Another will be to complete the sentence. Select the appropriate options in the answer area. So the answer area. Let's go in batch processing. Latency is expected. OK, so the latency is expected in the batch process. So question number three. Uh, this is one type of format which you will get in your certification exam. So for each of the following statements, select yes. If the statement is true, otherwise select no. Each correct selection is worth one point. So we need to be very careful whenever you know we select uh, the answers. So let's read out the statement. Normalization involves uh, eliminating relationships between database tables. So this is wrong. So it would be no. Normalizing a database reduces data redundancy. Yes, this is correct. So we need to select yes. Normalization uh, improves data integrity. Yes. OK. So let's go into another questions. And yeah, just I just want to give you a heads up, guys. If you are looking for any AZ 900 dumps or any uh, other uh, dumps, you can go through my channel and look out the videos. I have a lot of uh, certification videos created. And particularly if you are looking for AZ 900 dumps, you can click above on the I button. So let's get started uh, to complete the sentence. Select the appropriate option in the answer area. Uh, Transcribing audio files is an example of cognitive analytics. OK, this is an example of cognitive analytics. Uh, another question is to complete the sentence, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Transcribing audio files is an example of cognitive analytics. Sorry, this is the same one. My bad. Uh, to complete the sentence, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Descriptive analytics tells you what occurred in the past. OK, so this uh, descriptive anal analytics will tell you. To complete the sentence, select the appropriate options in the answer area. So this is question number six. Let's go to the answer area. The massively parallel processing MPP engine of Azure Synapse Analytics distributes processing across compute nodes. So there is a drop down. There will be a multiple options. Make sure you select the correct one. Another one is to complete the sentence. Select the appropriate options in the answer area. Again, there is a drop down for this. There are multiple you know, choices. Uh, select the appropriate one. Uh, is an object associated with a table that sorts and stores the data rows uh, in the table based on their key values. So the answer would be uh, a clustered index. OK, so we need to select a clustered index is an object associated with a table that sorts and stores the data rows in the table based on their key values. 
Uh, again here it's a similar type of question so directly let's read out the statements relational database tables contain columns and rows yes this is correct so let's select yes index is an relational database describes the data type in a table no this is wrong so we'll select no a database view is a virtual table whose content is defined by a query yes this is correct so let's select yes Again, let's read out the statement. Uh, you can use Azure Data Studio to query a Microsoft SQL Server big data cluster. Yes, this is correct. You can use Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio SSMS to query an Azure Synapse Analytics Data Warehouse. Yes, this is correct again. You can use uh, MySQL Workbench to query Azure Database for MariaDB Database. Yes, so this is also true. So guys, most of the questions which I'm, you know, uh, posting here, you will get in the exams. So make sure you, you know, read this, understand the uh, concept properly. And I'm sure few of the questions or similar type of questions you'll get in your certification exam. So let's go to the uh, question number 10. When you create an Azure SQL database, which account can always connect to the database? So here we have a multiple choices again. So the correct answer would be the server admin login account of the logical server. So the question is, uh, sorry, the answer is B. Okay. Question number 11. You manage an application that stores data in a shared folder on a window server. Which type of Azure storage should you use? So A, Q, B, blob, C, file, D, table. So we'll select uh, the correct one is file. So it's a C. Question number two. Now uh, your company is designing a database that will contain session data for a website. The data will include notifications, personalizations, attributes, and products that are added to a shopping cart. Which type of data store will provide the lowest latency uh, to retrieve the data? So here again, the multiple choices are there. A, key value, B, graph, C, columnar, D, document. So the correct answer is columnar, C. Question number 13, you have an application that runs on Windows and requires access to a map drive. Which Azure service should you use? Okay, so this is from the Azure services part. So let's read it out the options. A, Azure files, B, Azure blob storage, C, Azure Cosmos DB, D, Azure table storage. So the correct answer is A, Azure file. Okay, so question number 14, to complete the sentence, select the appropriate options in the answer area. So the answer area is when using the Azure Cosmos DB Gremlin API, the container resources type is projected as, again, there's a drop down. So the correct answer is a graph. Let's select that. Question number 15, uh, you need to store data in Azure blob storage for seven years to meet your company's compliance requirement. The retrieval time of the data is unimportant. The solution must minimize storage cost. So the main thing is they need to minimize the cost here of the storage. Which storage tier should you use? A, archive, B, hot, C, cool. So the one is archive. The correct answer is A, archive. So let's go to the question number 16. Which type of non-relational data store supports a flexible scheme? Stores data as a JSON files and stores all the data from entity to the same documents. Again here, option A, document, B, columnar, C, graph, D, time series. So let's select the correct answer, document, it's A. Question number 17, when provisioning an Azure Cosmos DB account, uh, which features provides redundancy within an Azure region. So the options are A, multi uh, master replications, B, availability zones, C, the storage consistency level, D, automatic flavor. So oh, flyover, sorry. So the correct answer would be B, availability zones. Okay, so here we are at end. We have completed the part one. Thank you for watching. I'm sure this video was helpful to you. I don't want to stretch too much, hence I'll see you all in the next video with a part two of DP900 Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals, Questions and Answers. Until that, keep learning, keep growing. Take care, signing off Narendra. Peace.